on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, Izuku, it's time for school. As she looks around and sees it, Izuku's room is trashed. At least all his all my stuff has been rearranged, ripped up, paper, just everything that would have been held near and dear to his heart is destroyed. She's looking for him, but then she sees a makeshift tent out of his comforter, bed, mattresses, and all that shit. See? So, uh, uh, what happened? Huh? Oh, I... Him looking at his carnage? Ah! I... I can explain? Explain? Can you really explain this? Honestly? <laughs> okay, uh... Well, where I went, it it's a uh, it was a uh, very dangerous, and I had to make do with what was around me, and it's a habit I picked up. Picked up. It's only been two weeks. Two weeks. That's it. Yeah, to you. <sighs> but it's been like uh, months for me. What kind of environment would make you feel like you've been there for months when it's only been... Oh, goodness, that sounds like a living hell. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Like, nothing, nothing. Just d don't worry about it. <clears throat> If anything, so uh, yeah, right. School, I, I gotta do that. Uh, uh, thanks for waking me, mom. No problem. Just please. As yes, Zuku, he's. Oh man, I can't believe it. What, uh, See you later, Mom. Her still being like, please be safe. And don't, uh, get lost or whatnot again for two weeks. I'll try not to. Him walking away and go, like, please. Please, I cannot handle this. Don't, don't do this to me, please. As soon as he arrives, he's already on guard. He doesn't know why, besides his uh, experiences in another realm. Like, why can't I relax? E everything here seems fine. I, I don't feel, sense no threats. I don't, hell, he even brought his knife with him. And he hid it from Inko to make sure she doesn't try to take it away from him. When he went to school, it's like, why did I even? I'm not going to end up using it, or am I? No, no, of course not. Ugh. Two months in hell were a lot more than I thought they'd be. <sighs> and for some reason, yeah, even the floor isn't as comfortable as it was there. Oh my god, am I recomparing my floor to hell? <sighs> Damn it! I, I need to get better integrated to society again. Not everyone is out to get you. Him seeing Bakugo. He was about to take out his knife. He's like, wait, 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 no, 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 I, it's nothing. 
he, he, I'm not in danger here. As yes, he everything goes similar to Canon except Izuku. He ain't talking at all. He's not really embarrassed. He's just more reserved. When Oraka shows up, like she sneaks up behind him. He just flash steps. So, uh, are you all right? Yeah, Bogo, he wasn't paying attention. Everyone else is like, dude, just chill. No one's here out, no one's out to get you. Right. Right, right, of course, of course, yes, yes. Well, as all shows up, yada, yada, yada. Of course, we have a test. And here we go. Ball throw, Izuku does a lot better. He still powers up to 15%, but he, at the last minute, goes beyond that and uses the extent of his whole hand, which Bargo's 700 and something meters, that's just a drop in the bucket. I mean, he goes to everything else, yeah, Yuzuku does a lot better. In fact, when it comes to the ball throw, Specifically, when Bongo saw not only does Izuku have a quirk, but he also beat him. He is beyond pissed. He charges at Izuku, and before Azawa can do anything, Izuku flash steps, knocks Bongo out, and takes out his knife and about to stab him, but has enough restraint that all he did was graze Bongo's cheek. I mean, it's still cut. Still broke skin, but everyone else is like, "What the fuck was that?" Him just pulling it out is a. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry. No weapons aren't permitted here. It, this is not a weapon. This is a tool for survival. Survive what exactly? What? What could part? Who? Well, yes, he did attack you, but still, he, I'm sorry. It's just past two weeks have been hellish for me. Be that as it may, hmm. I am going to reprimand you somehow. Go to the principal's office and talk about what you did. But I now him seeing Nezu's Oh, you seem very hungry. Zuru taking out the knife again. Don't worry, I'll make it quick. What? As he is chasing Nezu with a knife. As Nezu is like, wait, what are you doing? He's like, I'm hungry. Go to the cafeteria. Don't try to eat me. Don't worry. I know how to make you taste delicious. No. I'm the principal. Damn it. I don't want to get eaten. It's like, uh. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Nezu, he's just clinging to the ceiling right now. As Izuku, he's on the wall. He's used his fingers to make indentions and break through the wall so he can just climb up to Nezu. So, yeah, that's. Nezu is a little bit more cautious around Midoriya. He's like, I pray that I never see you when you're starving. I am so sorry. What happened to you? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Oh, am I didn't tell you? I know. Know what? About your quirk. How you got it? Uh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, you also told me that you were gone for two weeks without, you know, so much as a phone call or a text. Oh, yeah. 
things happened. I can only imagine. Those two weeks must have been torture for you. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. Definitely. But here we are at the hole. <laughs> you can say <laughs> block a room. Izuku didn't get time to change and everyone just wanted to confront him, at least the guys in the locker rooms. Okay, what's what's, what's up with you? Bago, he's back from recovery girls. You bastard. Where'd you even get a knife? Not your damn business. <coughs> Excuse me? You are me none of your damn business. Well, where did you get a quirk? None of your business. <laughs> How dare you shut up, Kotsky. Please. I've been through a lot. You have no idea what I've been through. No. No, I don't. Because we don't know shit about what you did, how you did this, yada, 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 bullshittery. I don't really give a damn, but when you, you chop me in the neck, you cut me with a fucking weird ass knife. I'm talking about you have a quirk. Yeah, I'm a late bloomer. Deal with it. Him yeah, just walking out of the season. He just tosses a knife right at the poster. He is he's like, as yeah, Manetta. He's about to take a peek, but it doesn't look as enticing as it did before. The girls will kill your ass if you even think about peeping on them. Uh, uh, but no buts. Uh, him just taking the knife out of the wall. Uh, it better not dull the blade. You don't need a knife here. You never know. Fine. Fine. Whatever. As yeah. Izuku was pretty much like, what the hell? Why am I acting like this? What's with all the changes in me? Oh, man. Being in hell is actually... Was it a good thing? If this is how I am after being back for... What? A day or two? What's it gonna be like if I can't reintegrate? These are good questions. Very good questions. But now, let's get to heroes versus villains. In which the teams are the same. It's just that Izuku, he's, he knows the Oraka's quarry, but he doesn't really see much use for it. I mean, at least giving his power and how much better he's gotten at using it. He doesn't really see much. Okay, do I really need a teammate? I'm pretty sure I can just beat down Katsuki and whatnot. Uh, as yes, he sees a rocket. She's pouting. Really? You don't think I'm that helpful? Oh, no, 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 that is not what I meant. That is not at all what I meant. I, you're saying uh, I don't need a teammate. I didn't say I didn't need you. I just, just I mean, I'm sure your, your gravity can come in handy. Uh, her being a little bit happier, but still. Okay. It still sounds like you don't need me, so maybe I should sit this one out. No, this is a team exercise. Now, hey, Midoriya, what has gotten into you? Uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. You just 
Geschwister und ihre Teammates gründen die Will you help me? I'll be busy uh, taking on Bakugo, but you can go straight for Ida. If anything, just make sure he doesn't, you know, catch wind of you. Here's what you should do. And then the battle begins, in which, just like you can, Bakugo goes in, hands blazing. One thing is, he's a lot more pissed, so he's be more irrational in his decisions. He's starting to fight with more ferocity in his fight style. Izuku, knowing how Bakugo fights, yeah, this is uh, okay. This is too easy. Him. Chopping him in the back of the neck and grabbing him up with capture tape. All Might is amazed at how Izuku has pretty much progressed in a matter of a couple of weeks. But he's also wondering what is so crazy that he wouldn't want to tell us. <sighs> Don't tell me he he found no no that's impossible. I think he he should be dead. <sighs> I'm overthinking it. As then we get to Araka and Ida. Izuku's plan was for Araka to go around unnoticed. To Ida, well, also utilizing her quirk better. So, what she actually did is, as per Izuku's instructions, she gathered up some rocks, some pebbles, and whatnot, put them in her pocket. And as soon as she does find the bomb where Ida is most likely going to be, she uses her quirk to make herself float on the wall and just start throwing rocks, pebbles, and everything every which way to where she's not. That way, not only will Ia be confused to where they are, it'll be helpful as hell when it comes to sneaking around if your opponent is every which way. It works, and Oraka grabs a bomb. In fact, Izuku, he was even running when he arrived there. He was just walking, and Ia was like, I found you! He was like, your team wins. What? Him seeing Oraga like win? How? You must pay more attention to your surroundings. But I was. That's that's the whole point. I was paying attention. But how did she? As he looks, is wait. Is this a rock? As he is, Oraka can finally let out all the laughs. Ida feeling like, okay, okay. It, am I that lame to you? Like, no, 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 it's not that. It's like, you were taking it so seriously. <laughs> I had to hold it all my laughter. Uh, the emotion you put into it is just you being a villain. If anything, you'd laugh your victims to death with how serious you are. <laughs> Oraka, that's not nice. He did his best. And he came up with a good plan that only, possibly, if only more for Kotsky's nonsense. Uh. What I um oh okay as he uh, he commends Izuku for his niceties, but also uh, I really wish I my team could have won. It would have been nice, but hey, if anything, I bet you were the MVP here. Really? Yes. I mean, if you were that absorbed into the role of playing the villain, you technically did everything right. I mean, who wouldn't go 
out to check out, see what the noise is coming from. Really? <laughs> if it wasn't for Bungo running off, chances are he would have done that. And you would be able to still stay and watch over the bomb. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose. that That is true. Everyone pretty much looking at this is like, whoa. Huh. Okay, man, he's not crazy. Araka, hey, you utilizing your quirk in such a way is awesome. If anything, you could become a great hero, especially if you can deal with your nausea. Hmm. I wish I could help you with that, but the only thing I can really recommend is, you know, the nausea medication. And <laughs> it may take a minute for it to actually sail in your stomach. Him starting to give her pointers, eat up pointers. Everyone's listening to this and say, wait, where's Baka go? It's like, oh, he should be as a huge hole just comes up from the floor and Bakugo is there ready to take on Izuku like this isn't over yes it is we won uh, what? him landing is like no 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 how did we lose? what did you do? four eyes I me? you went in there with no plan Oh no, I had a plan. Beat the shit out of him. Can we can take on one person? We just had the better strategy. That's it. Doesn't matter what your quirk is or uh, or what. Nothing. He's just walking off. <sighs> All my we need to talk. Okay, uh what exactly? I have a secret for you as well. I think mom should be here too. You two should at least know what happened to me. All my in his head is saying, Oh my god, dude. Did he really is all for one alive? Did he pass it on to someone else that knows you know, Midoriya is my successor? And as soon as they arrive at Izuku's apartment, Ego, she's ready. She's saying, like, wait, why is all my ear? Take a seat. <clears throat> I know some of you are wonder were wondering what happened to young Midoriya, what happened to my son and all this. Yes! Are you finally going to tell you? Yes, Mom, I'm getting to that. Please. Well, remember why I said it was so crazy you probably wouldn't believe me? Yes. Well, I might as well just take, take a chance. I went to the Nether Realm. What's that? Hell. What? Wait, you, you were sent to... Oh... <laughs> Suga, you worry you're, you're scaring me. I thought you were serious. No, Mom. I am serious. I went there. You what? I went to hell. As they do hear the explanation to how we actually got there, it goes like, why do you have to keep playing hero? Oh my! Yes, you did the right thing. Even though it sent you to oh, to God hell, you did you did something a hero would do, a true hero. As then he gets into more detail about the old lady who pretty much instilled in him that yeah, everyone's here for a reason. Inko is surprised about this. Oh my, hella surprised, especially considering Izuku, oh, to God murdered someone just for them to come back. 
And those scars are starting to make more sense. It's like, oh my god, what happened? He does talk about his fight with Scorpion and everything. It's just like... So you can create after images now? It's like you're showing them as... Impressive? Uh, yeah. But I can't really do it for too long considering the amount of strain as well as, you know. Yeah, it makes sense. But, can you go back to this place? I, I don't know. As the hell portal shows up again, I guess so. As Scorpion just walks right out. Just, ah, young Midoriya. Nice to see you again. Scorpion. Hmm. You must be All Might. Yes. Miss Midoriya, I presume? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Young Midoriya, I do believe I owe you a bit of an apology. What? What are you talking about? Well, I didn't really prepare you for going back after two months of hellish survival. Uh, <laughs> for, for that, that was my blunder. Who knows what you could have done while going back and trying to get used to the fact that not everyone is what wants to kill you or whatnot. Um, yeah. So, I deeply apologize for that. I should have prepared you better for that eventuality. So, how would you like to go back? Whenever you have enough free time. But this time, before you leave, we won't have a fight, but we'll have pretty much a re education of the whole differences between the Nether Realm and here. Oh, really? Yes. I feel as though it would be more helpful you know, better if I actually huh, make sure you recognize that you are not in any danger danger here. Though there is still some you could say obstacles. Not nearly as bad as it would be in hell. This is real! Oh my god, you tell me this bullshit is real? He goes, uh, no, 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 no. I can't. It's so good. You weren't just joking, you were actually sent to hell. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, no, not my son. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mom. So you're not... You weren't lying. Please tell me you were lying. Sorry, I, I wasn't. This isn't right. No. No, I, I can't. This... Why? I was just looking at Scorpion and saying, why? Why would you send my son there? I, he wasn't supposed to be there. Did I have him trained? Could I have just let him go back home? Yes. 
But I saw that something was ailing him, and after him gave me a thorough explanation. Oh, yeah. You thought I was going to take the, the quirk away. Uh, wait, take the quirk away? Wait, wait. wait. Yeah, Dory, what is he talking about? Uh, oh. All my is right here. Oh. Oh, wait. He doesn't know. It's, you didn't tell Scorpion about it. I gave you. As they forget that Inko's in the room. They, Oh, wait, you gave my son that quirk? Oh. Hmm. Oh, my. Yes. Permission to speak. Yes. You're an idiot. Perhaps, yes. As, yeah, that's pretty much how that ends. Izuku's like, wow, I, you honestly got told so, everyone that this quirk was given, gifted to me by you. So, anything else you want to tell them? Anything else you want to tell me? <clears throat> um, well, be honest, I was worried you, I, I was worried that All for One was still alive. Who? <sighs> the person who put me in the condition I'm in. And since you, everyone knows about One for All, apparently now, he debuffs. Oh dear. You you have been through the ringer. You are quite powerful for a human. And then again, I've seen some powerful humans as well, so... Yeah. Mom? Mom, are you alright? I... Um, uh, what? All Might? Correct. How? Fight. I am lucky to be alive. Okay. Izuku? Yeah, I was shocked the first time I saw it too, Mom. Huh. Well, that's... That's interesting. You go just going to your room and screaming as loud as she can. But muffles the sounds with a pillow. Well, she's saying that very well. <laughs> My mom is trying her best. Yes. So, whenever I have free time, I... Yes. Oh, of course. Uh, in fact... Here, a medallion? What's this for? Think of it as a gate key to the nether realm. Yeah, it'll allow you to actually access a portal. But I will refrain from taking it anywhere where it could be, you know, liberated from your grasp. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm going back to bed. Um, uh, are you sure? As yes, yes. scorpions. I doubt your your room is, you know, in the right state. Oh, so you figured that out too, huh? Yes. Believe me. Nether Realm is like. Well, it's literal hell. When it comes to the guards, the demons, uh, as well as the whole fact that 
people are being tortured and some are lucky enough to escape. I see you still carry that knife with you as well. I'm trying to use it. Believe me, you're going to need it one of these days. It's good that you keep it at your hip. Now, without further ado, I should all take my leave. <laughs> and that's how that whole encounter goes. As now we get to the USJ. Izuku, he's happy. He doesn't have to do any fighting. If anything, it's pretty much like, okay, so I guess get to rescue people. No danger really is needed. I don't think I might even not even need this knife here. It's, yes, good, very good. However, upon him actually seeing the, something that feel right. As soon as they arrive, he feels malice for some reason. It's like danger is just around the corner or through those doors. He's trying to tell Aizawa, but Aizawa's like, just calm down. Yes, there are some hazardous situations there, but nothing that could, you know, have malice. It's when the villains show up that Izuku is like, I told you so. And when it comes to them getting separated, it's the same way. Only thing is, when Shiraki tries to go for Sue, Izuku's instincts instantly kick in as he cuts off one of Sugar Rocky's hands. Everyone, like, he actually did it. Sugar Rocky's screaming. He's clutching the nub that used to be his hand. As Izuku... What did I just do? The Nobu smashes right between Izuku and Shigaragi and starts going into a full on fist fight. Izuku dodging and making sure that he doesn't get nearly as injured, but the longer the fight draws out, the more Izuku is reminded of all his trials, every fight, every battle, every time he's almost died, and he's starting to get more into it. As he doesn't have a smile, he has a scowl. He's getting angry. It's like, I'm not dying here. As then he starts carving up the Nomu. As he sees it's regenerating, he's wondering. It's, almost, it's actually kind of like a zombie, but it's actually able to follow orders. So he decides to do what you do in every zombie movie. Go straight for the brain. Killing it. Shigaraki is shocked. He's still holding his nub. He's like, here he gets sat up here. As 13 is alright. As I was still getting his ass whooped, still, but still. <laughs> As, yeah, they just leave. Nub's gone, so we don't uh, forget it. All my age, we actually don't stand a chance. As well as the whole fact is. They left all the villains there, but Izuku still has the bloodlust. Seeing every single villain as an enemy or a denizen of hell. So he goes on a carving spree. As he just... The villains are dead. <laughs> I mean it. Every single one of them are dead. That Izuku got his hands on. Everyone is shot by the blood and carnage. As Izuku, upon realizing what he did, like, unlike the Nether Realm where they come back, they're not doing that here. Him dropping the knife and falling to his knees, just like, what have I done? Aizawa clinging to life. Problem child, what did you, why did you, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to, I'm, as he looks at 
the other students. He sees the just sheer fear on the villains that he didn't kill. <laughs> eyes he senses it he feels how like please please just arrest us don't just keep him away from us is what they're saying as all my does burst in with the whole i am here just to see what happened here <laughs> 